Hello beautiful friends and welcome back to my little cozy corner of the internet. If you haven't been here before, hello my name is Harmony and I talk about bookish things usually. I am doing something very exciting, at least it's exciting to me. My friend Sandy, whom I met here on YouTube actually, she is just the cutest thing and I love her. She's so adorable. She's the cutest baby and I just, yeah, she's one of my soul sisters. <laughs> but anyway, so Sandy messaged me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to do like a bookish collab kind of a thing and this is so fun. So basically, she's purchased a book for herself from my Amazon wish list. She's gonna read it annotate it and then send it to me and then I'm gonna do the same for her. She doesn't have a wish list so I got a book that's on her Goodreads want to be read category. So I ordered a book and I'm gonna read and annotate it and then send it to her and I just think that's such a fun idea and we're not telling each other what the book is. I have like this odd feeling that we might have chosen the same book for each other which would be hilarious. So that book is Shady Hollow A Murder Mystery by Juno Black. Isn't it so cute? So I've gotten to page 86. It is basically just a cozy, like, kind of fantasy mystery, I guess. This right here is Vera Vixen. She is a fox, obviously. She is a reporter in her small town of Shady Hollow. And for the first time, like, pretty much ever, I think, there's been a murder in the town and it's a pretty quiet town. So this is like a huge deal. So she's reporting on it and she's kind of trying to solve the mystery herself because the chief of police kind of is lazy and just wants to go fishing so she's trying to like sort of work with another police officer in the town it's not going super well so she's just kind of taking it into her own hands and she is gonna try to hunt down the killer it just sounded super fun i really just love the cover so much but yeah i'm very excited about it i love that like recently i've actually been making bookish friends and it makes my heart really happy like <laughs> I am not feeling like I want to do anything right now. My husband is out of town for work, so I have the house all to myself, which basically means that I'll probably just sit and read. I think that's what I'm going to do. So this vlog might be very uneventful, but you know, sometimes that's life. <laughs> I'm going to dig into this a little bit and I'll give some updates. I'm not going to give any spoilers because I know I gave all the spoilers in my last few reading vlogs when I was reading the Akatar series, so I'm gonna not do that for future vlogs, just so you know, and if I do, I will let you know ahead of time. <laughs> so I'm gonna get into reading and I'll update you guys probably in a couple days, maybe later tonight, I don't know, we'll see, but I'll update you guys later. Hello friends, it has been a couple of days, but I finally finished Shady Hollow. It was cute. I want to give you guys this update about this because I did get the package from Sandy of the book that she read and annotated for me. So I got it yesterday and I haven't opened it yet because I wanted to film the whole opening of course but my camera was dead so I just like stared at it all night long. <laughs> it was really cute though so I would probably give it a three out of five solely because I really disliked the writing style. I feel like the writing was very robotic and matter-of-fact and if you know me, if you've been here a while, you know that I love poetic, beautiful writing. I love descriptions and that kind of writing and this was just not that. I like that there were multiple suspect ideas. It was kind of hard to like pin down the whole whodunit kind of a thing because there were a few suspicious characters. The ending was fun, it was a surprise, and overall, like I said, it was just a cute, fun, cozy mystery, but it wasn't my favorite just because the writing was boring. <laughs> But I'm glad that I read it though. It has been on my list for a while, so I'm glad that I finally got to read it. Along with sending that, I'll be sending her a little card and I did do like a cute little wax stamp on there. But yeah, so now I get to open the package. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't think it's Shady Hollow. I know before I said that we might've gotten the same book for each other, but this feels like a thicker hardcover book. Here we go, here we go freaking out about it. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. Emily Wilde Encyclopedia of Fairies. Oh, I've been wanting this for so long since it came out a while ago, actually. All her little annotations. Oh, and there's a little note in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, her handwriting is so, oh, her handwriting is so cute. Oh, I love it. Uh... Oh my goodness, she's so sweet. Oh, I'm so excited to read this. 
I love that she put little notes in here. It makes me feel less bad because I was like writing notes in my margins and I was like, I hope she doesn't mind because that's part of like my annotating thing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, cute. I also wanted to show that in the book that I'm sending her, I also put this little stamp. So I wrote a note on the inside and then the stamp, make sure you can see it which is Irish, and that means the Harmony Perry Library. I really hope she likes Shady Hollow. There's just one other thing I wanted to show you guys before I dig into this, and it is not book related, but I don't care. <laughs> I found this new brand on Etsy that I'm absolutely obsessed with, Forged Fields, and this is now officially my new favorite makeup. Look at how cute it is, first of all. This is a powder foundation, and this is a blush and I'm obsessed. <laughs> Powder foundation I got is number three. I think she has like nine or 10 different shades, something along those lines. I think three will be my summer color and two will be more of my winter color. These ingredients are insane. So I'm a very like holistic, quote unquote, crunchy kind of a person. I love natural, no chemicals, no toxins, like that kind of stuff. This is literally the cleanest that you will find. The foundation ingredients is literally organic arrowroot, rasole clay, and calcium bentonite clay. That's all it is. And the blush is French red clay and pink kaolin clay. And that's it. Like, you literally cannot get any cleaner than that. And when it comes to makeup for me, I very much so enjoy very light, natural looking, minimal coverage kind of makeup. So if you're not into that, it might not be super great for you, but I'm obsessed with it. I also got her face cream. She has a few different ones. This is the beeswax one and the ingredients are fair trade shea butter, raw coconut oil, pure beeswax, calendula and oat straw infused sunflower oil, comfrey infused jojoba oil, rosehip oil, grapeseed oil, chaga, and reishi mushroom. Like, are you kidding me? These ingredients are so insanely good and this works wonders. I think I finally discovered the irritant that I was having with my face beforehand. I think I'm sensitive to essential oils. So this doesn't have any essential oils in it, which I'm really grateful for. My face feels amazing. It makes my skin so incredibly soft. My husband actually loved it. He's using this now because he thought it was so great. I put another order through already. I ordered another darker foundation shade for my contour as, as well as three different eyeshadows, which are similar ingredients, very clean. And then I also ordered a honey face wash, which is literally just like honey and bentonite clay, I think, or something like that. So. I'm so excited to get them. So I just wanted to throw that out there. If you're also a very natural, clean person and you don't like chemicals or extra ingredients or anything like that, definitely check out this company on Etsy. I will, if I can remember, I'll link it down below, but it is just so good, so natural. It's a small business by a woman in I think Vermont. So I just wanted to do that little shout out. So book things. I'm going to send this and then in this vlog I am going to vlog my reading this and I can't stink and wait. I didn't expect this to come so I'm just so excited and happy and yeah, I think I'm going to love it. <laughs> encyclopedia of fairies last night no not last night this afternoon on my lunch break and I loved it 
I loved it. <laughs> Once again, I failed to say what this was about. It's about Emily Wilde, who is a dry, I'm probably not going to say this right, dryadologist. Basically, she studies fairies, and I'm assuming this is based in like the early 1900s, but she is a, not quite a professor yet, I don't think, at Cambridge. She is in the process of doing some field work to write an encyclopedia of fairies, which will help, of course, all the other dryadol dryad dryadologists with their knowledge, like a reference book basically. So this is written like a journal, which I was not expecting, but I really liked it a lot. And she just talks about her experiences. And in this specific case, she is in this country. I cannot pronounce. I'm going to ask Sandy how she pronounced it because it is spelled like L-J-O-S-L-A-N-D-E-R something like that. So she's there to study the Fae in this specific land and then her co-worker whom she can't stand, um, Wendell, Wendell, Bambleby, Bambleby. She can't stand him but he shows up to help her with the study so they have to like figure out how to get along even though Wendell like loves her. So they're gonna be studying the Fae in this land. I love Poe. He's one of the Fae creatures in this book. I wish we got more of him, but he's really hardly in it at all, but he's adorable and I love him. I will say that I'm giving it four and a half out of five. The only thing that's keeping me from giving it five out of five is the fact that I feel like the most important part of the book was really, really rushed. It was like kind of part of the last bit. So it was kind of like, it took its time throughout the whole book explaining what was going on, like we're learning stuff. So took its time in like that kind of a sense and then all of a sudden when it got to the part with a lot of like the fae it was kind of like bang 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 and I understand because it's a journal and she's like in these action scenes but at the same time like it was just it went from zero to a hundred really quick for the part that I wanted the most time spent on it was still really good though I like it a lot I didn't like Emily at first she's really rude <laughs> she cares so much about academia that she's like really mean to people it seems so I didn't really love that but I do like that she's so dedicated to her craft but I loved Wendell 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 loved him loved him everything about him. He's just great. Overall, I really recommend this as long as you're prepared that it's written in a journal kind of a style and there's a lot of big words. Like there are a few sentences that I had to like reread a few times because of the way it's worded is so academic and so intelligent. So <laughs> it was interesting, but I really liked it a lot. Very excitingly, it is currently 4.45. So in 15 minutes, I'm going to be video chatting with Sandy and I'm so excited. <laughs> This will be the first time that I've actually like face-to-face -face chatted with anybody in the bookish community so I'm really excited about it and I love Sandy so much. She's so sweet and cute and I just... But anyway, so we're going to be talking about our thoughts about Shady Hollow and the Encyclopedia of Fairies. So I'm curious to know her thoughts on everything of like Shady Hollow and she said she's really excited to know what I think of this beauty so I'm excited but I did also put a lot more tabs in this one. I loved the way she annotated because she annotated so many things that I never would have thought to highlight but the fact that she highlighted them in the book it made me like recognize more and pick up on more so I'm just really grateful that she did so much and I loved it. Anyway so yeah this next part when I'm chatting with Sandy will probably most definitely contain spoilers so if you haven't read these yet and you don't want to obviously watch the spoiler part thank you for being here. I appreciate you watching this far uh, maybe come back and watch this next part when you've read these books otherwise like I said spoiler alert so, so let's cut to my conversation with sandy i've never used facetime before so i don't know if i'm doing this right hi, hi. oh i'm so happy that we're doing this i know me too here i'll you can say hi to my blog if you want oh hi vlog <laughs> so which book do you want to talk about first oh uh, let's do shady hollow first because it's like more condensed eee, it's so cute so i really love this mm -hmm. I, this one was five star i really like the animal aspect mm -hmm. but be like adult themes in it like I thought it was yeah. gonna be more like wholesome but when they were yeah. like she doesn't care what kind of animal she has I was like 
oh, okay. <laughs> there it is kind of like, oh, well, you know, it was because we were judgmental. And I think that that plays a part, but mm-hmm. I don't think that was all of it either. Because it's yeah. like... We have to make the decision to murder somebody. <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. The raccoon that was like, people aren't afraid to murder because it's bad, they're afraid to do it because it's permanent. Oh yeah, murder isn't scary because it's crazy, it's scary because it's permanent. Yeah, I was like, oh. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, or maybe because they're it's also crazy and permanent, like the heck? Yeah. I also found it interesting that like, they kind of subtly hinted at like, the maybe like racism towards Mm -hmm. raccoons yeah that was surprising too especially since like if you've seen like zootopia how foxes are usually the ones that are like judged for that kind of a thing so i was like it's kind of funny that in this one vera is like the detective trying to solve it instead of like the shifty creature so that was interesting yeah Yeah. i thought about that too i also thought about zootopia (laughs) I was so nervous that Lenore was going to be, like, part of it. Like, the whole book, I was so scared about that. I was like, please, please. She was my favorite. The whole, like, Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Like, the Nevermore, and then she's a raven. I was like, I love this. This is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I love that that was, that came up in there, and it came up in this one, too. Yes. With Poe having, like, the raven. Yeah, and it was, like, both to The Raven, because obviously Edgar Allan Poe has, like, a bunch of different work, but I love that The Raven specifically yeah. was, like, in that book and this book, so I was like, hey, yeah. this is, like, a sign that we're supposed to be that reading these. So <laughs> that is hilarious. I, I did not even, like, connect that till just, even though Poe was my favorite character in that one. I loved it. so cute. My, my score is actually a little bit lower. Mine was, like, four, maybe three and a half, only because the yeah. writing bothered me. The writing was, like... Oh, very matter of fact yeah that is true so it was like i love really poetic romantic writing like shay earnshaw's poetic or like sarah j mass's poetic like everything is like beautifully written whereas like shady hollow was very like she did this and then she did this and then this happened and it was like yeah yeah all right (laughs) do you want to move on to encyclopedia fairies yes it was so good i loved it i loved it wendell Wendell is just, I love him. I love Wendell. I was so excited when he, like, showed up. I was like, yes, Wendell's here. I will say, though, that, like, Emily really bothered me most of the book. I was like, can you stop being so rude? Like, I know. Sometimes it was, like, a little bit charming. Like, she was like, oh, yeah. I'm so mad that I'm, like, in love right now. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like sometimes it's like people would do the nicest things to her and she would just be like so rude. I'm like, yeah, Girl, exactly. Tell some kindness. <laughs> Say thank you. Right. You know? Like, because some of those parts, she, or like even when they were saying goodbye at the end and like, I think it was Og was crying and she was like, I didn't know what to do. So I just walked away and I'm like, uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Did, I didn't expect it to be written like a journal. So that was really cool. Yeah, so. I didn't realize that either. So do you know how to pronounce any of these words? No. <laughs> okay. I know. In my video, I'm like, um, she, I don't know where she is, but she's there. Yeah. So. I, cause like, I literally, the first thing, cause it says like where it is, and I was like, land. Okay, moving on. Like, I was like, I have no idea. When I like a book a lot, I like to read all the negative reviews of it. Mm-hmm. Just cause I'm like, why didn't people like this? I did, you know? Mm-hmm. A lot of the negative people who were either Icelandic or from Norway Mm. and they were saying like oh she should have just picked one or the other because she's mixing like traditions and language Mm. and so it was like for them it bothered them and like I mean I've never been to that region or really don't know that much about it so like it didn't bother me at all but I so I think that's like it's somewhere in there but yeah I I have no idea how to pronounce any of it either (laughs) I think Poe is adorable I loved Poe I wish I we had more. more yeah, <laughs> I yes. wanted more of him so bad, but he was still a cutie. I'm a little disappointed that she, like, told us that she suspected Wendell was a fae. I kind of wish she would have just, like, hinted at it until it came out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or like, told us much later that yeah. she suspected 
Mm -hmm. was like right in the beginning, wasn't it? Yeah, it was in like within the first couple chapters or journal entries yeah. or whatever. Because I wish you would have yeah. just like hinted like sometimes he shifts in and out of focus or like sometimes he does this or he's really obsessed with this. Like I wish it, yeah. she would have like dropped hints about it, but instead she was like, so by the way, I suspect. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that would have made the reveal a lot more like poignant too. Yeah. Because then when it did happen, it was like, well, yeah, we already knew that. You know? <laughs> yeah. like, okay, this is exciting, but also we already knew that, you know? Yeah, like, it was with Shadow, like, when she had mentioned, like, Shadow being revealed to be, like, a hound yeah. or whatever, I was like, oh! I loved that. I loved, I loved it. that. I was like, oh, yay! Yeah. And I love Shadow. Shadow was one of my favorite characters, mm -hmm. too. Like, I loved the, the relationship that they had. I love that she gave, like, a backstory of how she came to adopt him, too, that she, like, rescued yeah. him. I was like, oh, that makes it even better! It was right. so cute. Okay, how do you feel about the ending with, like, her being taken by the king? I was really annoyed that it was also rushed. Like, yeah. we dragged out a lot of the book. Like, this much of the book was so well explained and, like, dragged mm -hmm. on. Not dragged on, but, like, we were getting there. And then it was, yeah. like, the last 150 pages was, like, bah, 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 and I was, like, what's happening? <laughs> It was yeah. just like, she's there, this happened, they're getting married, okay, and now we're escaping. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, what even yeah. just happened? Well, and, like, I think I might have written it in there where she was, like, talking about, like, her, like, the ring thing. Yeah. I completely forgot about it. Me too! When you wrote, like, I literally forgot about that, I was like, wait, forgot what? Did something, did we know about this? Like, I was like, yeah. I totally forgot yeah. it was a thing. So invested in the story up until that point, and then I just, like, me out of it yeah and I had to like really focus to finish the book because I was like well I don't really care like <laughs> yeah. because I felt like it felt like the main conflict was like with um that couple I can't remember what their names are oh Margaret and Wilja Lila Lila maybe yeah it had a J in it but I'm assuming it was yeah. Lila <laughs> and so then like all of a sudden then we have the stuff with the king too I was like oh I forget what mm -hmm. is even happening what is the story of this part you know and yeah so I was like, and then it was just like I'm at the court and we're doing these things and like every like entry was like oh we're getting married and here's wedding preparations and then like <laughs> but I did love how like Wendell was like fighting his absolute hardest to like get in there and he was like I'm your seamstress now <laughs> I love that they she like brought that back around like where before he was always preparing his cloak and like got him the yeah. needle and then all of a sudden that's how he appeared I was like oh that was like a good foreshadowing kind of a thing yeah the whole time I was like Emily would you just like give this man what he wants like profess I your know. love for him like he just wants you to like him and wants you I to know. like love him the only thing I didn't like about Wendell was that like he had like other girls from the yeah. village like in the bedroom in the morning and stuff because to me that made it seem like he cared less about Emily mm -hmm. than if he would have just like held out <laughs> yeah I completely agree but I do appreciate though that he went from like he wasn't trying to get her into his room he went straight from like yeah. I want you to love... Like, he just immediately jumped into, like, marry me. Like, yes. you know, he wasn't, I like... I appreciated that, too. It didn't make up for it, necessarily, but it was like, okay, I can appreciate that. At least you're, yeah. like, you're not trying to get her in your bed. You're just, like, professing your love for her, literally. Yeah. So, I like yeah. that, at least. Okay. This would have been a 5 out of 5 had it not been for, like, the whole king palace engagement thing. Because that, like you said, it was just, <laughs> it was just, like, there and then gone. And it was like, well... What was the point of that? That could have almost been, like, a whole second book. Yeah, agreed. Like, if we kind of had a little bit of foreshadowing about the king in the first book. Yes. And then in the second book, it, like, dove into the king and, like, his backstories and everything. Mm-hmm. Then I think I would have, because I thought the king was a really interesting character. Yeah. Of how he's like, oh, I'm not going to let them hurt humans anymore, but then it's like super harsh winter and he doesn't like understand that that would hurt the humans yeah. so it's like he has good intentions but also he's like forever winter which is how i feel right now oh my gosh but. literally same it's snowing right now <laughs> i was confused about the king too at some point because i was like okay he's like the evil king but then they gave us this pass i'm like okay so he's good but then there she was like nervous about unveiling him because of evil and i was like wait so is he bad and then it was like they yeah. brought him i was like okay so he is bad 
and then they were talking about enslaving mortals. Like, so he's not bad. And I was just like, yeah, like so what? confused. Who is this man? <laughs> like, what, what is he? I yeah. know that me too. I was like, we were flip flopping a lot, and I'm not following. <laughs> there should be more explanation. I want more Poe. <laughs> I know he was the best character, and like his little wife, and like how he wanted the bear skin for his wife. I was like. Oh, I love you. <laughs> so cute. Going back to this one, I love how you um said that you imagined the the EW, newspaper guy, the newspaper guy, <laughs> like newspaper guy from Spider Man, because I was like, oh yes, and then as I kept reading, I was like, that is so accurate. <laughs> like, that is totally him. <laughs> I know, like, the further I got, the more accurate that was. I was like, yep, because he's so like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we had such a good experience with this. Me too. It could have been a real flop. Oh, God, I <laughs> I'm glad that we found each other. Thank you for, like, finding me on the interwebs. Like, I don't have any friends, and I don't, like, like, where is the community? And then I was, like, able to talk to you, and I was like, there it is. There's our community. <laughs> So. Oh, good. Do you want to say hi, Pendant? Oh, hi, Katie. Oh, she's so cute. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> How are you? On that note, <laughs> thank you for doing this with me. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. I'm very grateful. Yeah, me too. I'm glad, glad that we're able to be friends. Me too. Bye. Bye. Let's talk to you later. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Oh, that was so good. I'm so happy that we got to chat. It is raining. And since this video is already a million minutes long, I'm just going to cut it out here. So thank you guys so much for being here. I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.